We finally did it. We are officially halfway to 1,000 subscribers. And to be perfectly honest, you guys have amazed me. Seriously, the channel is more than a year old now and I couldn't be happier with where it's at. This goes for both the One Piece and Dr. Stone videos. So to thank you all for helping grow the channel to where it is today, I'm going to answer the questions you all shared with me. After that, I'll share my thoughts on the channel and what I have planned for the future. Before I get started, make sure to comment with what you like about the channel and what you'd like to see in the future. I'll pick my favorite and share it as comment of the week in the next video. This week's comment comes from Mamsy for respecting the best dad in anime. Also, for those of you who missed the Dr. Stone video, I am unable to upload on December 10th because I'm in the middle of finals. Saxy was able to help and edit this video, so make sure to thank him by checking out his channel. But if you'd like regular One Piece and Dr. Stone videos like this one, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can follow along with each week's video. Now, the first question comes from Axel Beats. Do you know my boy? He's wicked smart. Yes, Axel, I do know your boy. He is very smart. And I heard he's also rather fond of apples. For those of you who have no clue what we're talking about, this is all a reference to the classic movie Good Will Hunting. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you do so. The next question comes from Jordan, who wants to know what NSFW stands for. I honestly have no clue, but my guess is something along the lines of new super female warriors? It could also be not-so-friendly woodchucks, but I guess we'll never know. The next two questions come from Kitsune Katie. Let me just go out of order here and answer the second one first. What's my biggest fear? Mice and rats. Seriously, if you've ever seen those cartoons where the elephant is deathly afraid of mice, that's me. They're gross, they're icky, and most importantly, they nasty. It is so bad that when I look at a new house, my first question is always, so, any mouse problem? Yeah, I know, but we all have our demons. Moving on, Katie wants to know what made me want to start YouTube in the first place. Now, unlike One Piece, the dawn of my story lacks any kind of romance whatsoever. Two summers ago, I was in between college and law school and had no job. With literally nothing going on, I figured that it might be a good idea to actually do something with my life. Then, I read this book by Gary Vee called Crushing It, where he explains how you can build a career by talking about basically anything you want on the internet. Which was great for me, because at the time, I was reading about one to two books a week, but had nobody to talk about them with. So, I decided I'd do that by starting a YouTube channel. Yada yada yada, here we are a year and a half later. Again, I know, not exactly a tale of romance. Next, we have Hirito with another twofer. First, why are you so awesome? Simple, eat your cereal without any milk, eat the rinds when you have watermelon, and always put Skittles on your vanilla ice cream. Once you do all that, you'll be just like me. Now, your second question about an anime crash landing. Honestly, this is kind of cheating since I'm talking about the manga, but I have to go with Demon Slayer. I don't want to spoil anyone, so I won't say much more. Just know that I think the ending doesn't compare to the fights that come right before it. Next is Mark, who wants to know which manga I think is the most disappointing. I can't say this one came highly recommended, but I have to go with Dragon Ball Super. Let me just be clear, I think the anime is super fun despite its flaws. But with the manga, the whole thing is just one big mess. Just the fact that the plot isn't even the same as the anime basically kills any incentive to read the manga. Sure, it makes for interesting conversation, but you know it's just gonna play out differently in the anime, and the anime will be what people mainly discuss. In fact, they literally tell you to watch the anime whenever the movie plots come in. Not to mention, the latest arc is ridiculously convoluted and inconsistent. So, while the anime is fun as hell to watch, the DBS manga is a major disappointment. Next is Blitz, who wants to know my five favorite anime. To be clear, these aren't what I might argue to be the best anime ever, just the five I enjoy the most. In no particular order, we can start off with One Piece and Dr. Stone. Pretty obvious, considering I go out of my way to talk about them every week. One of my other favorites just so happens to be Hunter x Hunter. The fights are incredible, the music is gorgeous, and the show is full of incredible characters. Finally, my other two favorites are My Hero Academia and Black Clover. Now, I know my favorites are pretty basic, but hey, with a name like Shonen Oji, what'd you really expect? 
Honestly, I'm a simple dude. I like lots of different anime like Gonkutsuo and Kaguya-sama, but at the end of the day, I just like something fun with characters that feel like a family. And that's what you get with My Hero Academia and Black Clover. They're simple, they're fun, and some of my favorite episodes are when they're just doing everyday stuff like going to the beach or goofing around before class. Next is Emerald who wants to know my favorite Dr. Stone character. And this is a super tough question because I stand by my belief that Dr. Stone does not have a single bad character. Sure, there are boring characters like Mantle, but those are side characters. They can't all be absolute legends. Now again, this is going to sound basic, but my favorite character is Senku, and let me explain why. Part of Senku's charm is that he can get along with just about anyone. If you really think about it, all of his friendships almost feel like he and the other person are best friends. Which is funny to say because some of these people are completely different from Senku. But Senku understands that people are different and that everyone has their own unique experience in life. That's the sort of philosophy I try to practice in my life, so that's why Senku is my favorite character in Dr. Stone. Also, he's absolutely hilarious. Everything from his epic reactions to his classic trolling is pure genius. Now, Sam the Gum Man wants to know my favorite One Piece character. And my favorite One Piece character, without a doubt, is Zoro. I just love everything about him. He's the literal definition of badass, his fights are always the best, he and I share the same habit of falling asleep just about any time of the day, and I love the way he acts as Luffy's right hand man. Luffy is very optimistic, so it's great whenever Zoro steps in and approaches things as a matter of fact. It's something we see from day one when Zoro explains that regardless of whether Luffy might be a good guy, joining him will make Zoro a criminal. And that's why I love Zoro. He's badass, he's a goofball, and he sees the world for what it is. Next is Marcos with another twofer. I kinda answered the second one already, but if you want to know my number one favorite, right now it's One Piece. Marcos also wants to know my favorite arc or saga in One Piece. And this is a super tough question like the Dr. Stone one because, again, I don't think there is a single bad arc in One Piece. But right now, I have to go with the Baroque Works Saga. My second favorite is probably Skypiea, simply because it's great to have an arc where the crew goes on an adventure that feels detached from all the craziness of warlords, Yonko, and marines. But Baroque Works has plenty of adventure, and it has one of my favorite characters, Vivi. I love Vivi's design, except for whatever the heck her Baroque Works outfit was. I love the compassion she has for her country and her responsibility as a leader. But most of all, I love her character arc and how she eventually comes to depend on and trust the Straw Hats. Now, the final question comes from Jay. And this one I saved for last because it ties into the future of the channel. Jay wants to know which other series I might cover on the channel. Honestly, for a while now, I've really been wanting to talk about Black Clover. The chapters are 10 out of 10 almost every week, and I could probably talk about each character for hours on end. Don't even get me started on how much I love my girl Sekri Swallowtail. But right now, I don't think that would be in the best interest of the channel. As you may recall, I started doing weekly videos sometime last May. I only covered One Piece, but then slowly incorporated Dr. Stone. The reason I added Dr. Stone is because there is a severe lack of Dr. Stone content on YouTube, which is a shame because there are plenty of Dr. Stone fans. Granted, tons of people do reviews, but as far as I know, nobody does regular discussions or analysis. So I started talking about Dr. Stone for two reasons, to get more people in love with the series and to give people who were already fans a place to talk about it. At this point, I feel comfortable with the Dr. Stone videos as much as the One Piece videos. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to add Black Clover, doing so can really only happen when I can start doing more videos per week. If I tried to do that with only one video a week, it would end up taking away time from One Piece or Dr. Stone. I don't want to cut back on One Piece when it's clearly the driving force of the channel, and spending less time on Dr. Stone would defeat the whole purpose of why I started covering it in the first place. Basically, while I would love to incorporate some Black Clover videos, that probably won't happen until I can do at least two videos a week. One video is really my limit right now without lowering the quality of the videos. 
For this to happen, I would most likely need to hire an editor so that I can have more time to script and record the videos. But to sort of take a step further here, I could definitely do two to three videos a week if I was in a position to work on them full time. And I don't say this lightly. While this is a dream of mine to work on content for you guys full time, it's not something I'm waiting for. It's something I'm working towards every day because I know that's what I want to do. Honestly, it's just a matter of being patient and figuring out how I'm going to get there one day at a time. So, I hope that you all stick with me on this little career path of mine. In all seriousness, I wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for all of you beautiful people who watch my videos and share your thoughts with me every week. But, until that point, I'm just glad to know you all enjoy listening to what I have to say. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for all of your amazing questions and for joining me every week for my crazy gibberish. Don't forget to thank Saxy by visiting his channel and checking out his videos. Also, a reminder that there will not be a video next week. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon.